Welcome to live coverage of Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. It's Republic and Park Hill South to start off this doubleheader here from Park Hill South. Beautiful campus. And the Tigers and Park Hill South will go at it here, followed by a game for Republic against Kearney. And that pitch is low. Just a little bit late getting started, maybe 13 or 14 minutes, right around 12, 28 on the start. There's an off-speed pitch that's popped up into shallow right field. Second baseman back, makes the play, and that's the first out of the inning as Lester is retired. One out for the Panthers, now batting number three, Devin Hughes. Brings in Devin Hughes. It'll be Miles Lozano on the mound for Republic in the first game of this doubleheader. And the first pitch to Hughes is a call strike. And he chops it foul over toward the dugout on the third base side. That's Republic's dugout in this game. Normally, that's the home dugout over there, I believe. Park Hill South. No, that's the visitor's dugout because Park Hill South is in their home dugout now. And Carney was in that dugout earlier. And I presume Carney will move into the Park Hill South dugout uh, on the first base side after this one is over. Off speed, ripped down the line, and it is foul by about 15 feet. So Devin Hughes makes his way all the way back to home plate. And there's a line drive back up the middle over the glove of the second baseman and into center field. And that is probably a base hit for Hughes, but we'll see how they score it. Now batting number 21, Trace Harrington. And here comes Trace Harrington coming off a game that Everybody who saw it and some who didn't, including me, will always remember. It was quite a performance for Trace Harrington against Carthage on Wednesday. Three home runs, nine RBIs, and he pitched six innings and did not give up an earned run. Allowed only an unearned run. So uh, thinking about everything he did in that game, quite likely the best game that anybody's ever played for Republic. That tied Bo Davis uh, in the single-game home run record, nine RBIs. Uh, records are a little spotty for baseball, so don't know for sure if that's uh, a record, but there was no record of anything close to it other than Bo Davis having seven in his three-home run game. So very likely that was the most RBIs in a game, and then you tack on the fact that he didn't allow an earned run as a pitcher, and it's hard to see how anybody could have had a better game than that. Swings and misses at that one. Gets away and down to second base. Goes Hughes. Harrington is out on strikes. And Jackson Overstreet will bat with Devin Hughes at second base. Two outs for the Panthers. Now batting number 14, Jackson Overstreet. That one gets away. It comes right back, and they've got a chance at Hughes, and it gets away from the third baseman, but not far enough. So the wild pitch allows Hughes first to advance to second, then another wild pitch advances him to third, and that's where he is with two outs, and Jackson Overstreet at the plate now with a 1-0 count. And he pops it up. 
into shallow center. That might be trouble. It's going to drop past the second baseman. A little, excuse me, single into right center field. Overstreet reaches on the RBI single, and Hughes comes in to score the first run. He didn't hit that very well, but he put it in the right place, and that's all you got to do. So he's at first base, and Wyatt Woods will try to keep things going here as the Tigers have grabbed a 1-0 lead. First pitch of ball to Wyatt Woods. And he swings and misses at that one. One ball, one strike. Next one bounces up there, gets away. Overstreet's going to try to advance, and he will. The throw was high down to second base. And the third wild pitch of the inning allows Overstreet to move up. So he's in scoring position, and Woods could drive him home. Inside, maybe a little bit low. And he walked. So control troubles for Will Shaw. And down to first base goes Wyatt Woods. Runners at first and second for Brett Hendrickson. That one is high. Swings and hits it hard through the hole, past the second baseman, into right field, and around third is Overstreet. The play at the plate is in time. The throw got him. Good throw by the right fielder. Good throw by Hayden Viscar. Hayden Viscar. And he cuts down over straight at the plate. 9-2 is the put up. Hendrickson had the single, no RBI. The Tigers do push her on across on the bloop single by Overstreet that scored Devin Hughes. And after a half inning, Republic on top, one nothing. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnegar Advantage. Tough customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnegar Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnegar family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnegarChevrolet.com.
Miles Lozano on the mound for the Tigers, and he's facing Michael Good to lead off. Good stands in there from the right side. That pitch outside and away from Miles Lozano. Lozano had a good outing last week at Joplin. He had struggled at Lebanon the Friday before and came out against Joplin and shut down the Eagles over two innings. There's a little blooper out past first, and that may drop in, and it does. And it'll be a single for good. That one just kind of tailed off, hit it off the end of the bat, and similar to Overstreet's hit in the top half of the inning, just found the spot where it needed to land. And so he's on to lead things off. Lozano checks. There goes a runner. Third down is, well, it might have been in time if it had been handled, but it bounced down there. And Nation wasn't able to pick it. That would have been a tough play for Carter Nation. It's a stolen base for good. He got a huge lead. And really kind of amazing it was as close as it was given the big lead that he had. There's a swing and a grounder to short. Hughes, tough play, gets it, throws, and he got him in time. And there's Devin Hughes again. I mean, you can't hit it over there at him where he can't get you out. He has been good all year. It was hit slow enough to allow good to advance to third, so he's there with one out. And Christian Denig, the center fielder, will bat. And he bounces it to Hughes. Another scoop, kind of double clutched. RBI ground out. Denig is retired, but he drives in good. And a little small ball by the Panthers has tied the game one apiece. Two outs, and Kaysen Lett will bat for Park Hill South. That pitch is strike, and let looks back at the umpire. A little bit of a disbelieving look on his face as he turns around and looks. And he's in the hole on two. So Lozano can finish him off here and get out of the inning. Off speed, out in front, struck him out. First strike out for Lozano. Let is retired, and the inning is over. But Park Hill South scores a run on one hit. There was a stolen base and a ground out RBI by Christian Denig. Scored Michael Good, and we are tied. At the end of one, we go to the second inning from Park Hill South. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Hind Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Hind Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference.
Cooper Pilkington leads it off, and he takes a breaking pitch inside. Ball one. Next pitch from Will Shaw is popped back out over the screen. Next one is hit hard to center field. A couple of steps back and turns out to be a relatively easy play for the center fielder Christian Denig reaches up, grabs it, and there's one gone in the second Carter inning. Nation. Carter Nation bats. Nation playing second base today. And he got hit on the arm. First pitch. Got him on the forearm, and he trots down to first. Now batting number 33, Cannon Crawl. Cannon Crawl steps to the plate for the Tigers. And he takes it in the dirt. That's ball one. Crawls a DH today in the first game of this doubleheader. And that one just inside, ball one. One ball, one strike to Cannon Kroll. Carter Nation down there at first base with one away. And that one catches the corner. Tipped it, I think. Two balls, two strikes to Cannon Kroll. And you can hear that wind whipping in, blowing in toward us. I don't know if I'd say it's straight in, but there's a grounder. See, I single through the left side. He just dribbled that through the hole, and neither fielder over there, the third baseman of the shortstop, could get to it. And Kroll reaches on a base hit, and the Tigers have something brewing here at the top of the second inning. Runners at first and second with one out. And back to the top of the order, and Garrett Lester. He could give the Tigers the lead. He homered for the first time this year at Joplin. And he shows bunt, and it's up the line. It's going to go foul. He wasn't trying to sacrifice, but he saw he had plenty of space down there and tried to lay one down. Great idea. And just couldn't get it down fair. And that has the benefit of drawing the third baseman in just a little bit. Make it easier to poke it through the hole over there. See Nation in the foreground and that one inside. One ball, one strike to Lester. Pops it up the line. That one is going to be fair inside the line. They may have a force out at third. No, they weren't in time to get him. So that is a tough base running play by Carter Nation. And he did exactly what you got to do, which is go halfway if you're not sure what's going to happen. Leave your option open. And another bloop single. I don't think anybody's hit the ball hard all day, and it's one-to-one -one already, and the Tigers have the bases loaded at the top of the second. And Devin Hughes will bet. He had the little bloop single back in the first inning that put the Tigers on top, or they came, ended up being the score. And there's another blooper. That one's going to go foul. <laughs> that was the worst hit of them all and just spun out into foul territory. Well, hit them where they ain't, I guess they say, and it has been the theme of the day so far.
few swings and misses. So two strikes now on Devin Hughes. Batting with the bases loaded and one out. Pops it up and it's going to drift out of play off down the third, uh, down the first base side. And he serves it into right field. They are going to send Nation. He tags up. Nope. He turns around and goes back. Now they've got a runner hung up, but the throw down to third hit Nation. So the Tigers kind of caught a break there. Nation went halfway, and then trailing behind him, Cannon Kroll got more than halfway. So it ends up just being a flyout to right field. And here comes Harrington. And after the three home run game against Carthage last week, I don't blame him for wanting to talk things over. Harrington comes to the plate and there's no place to put him. So he hit four home runs last week. And he's here in a very dangerous situation for Park Hill South. I would imagine the instructions were don't groove one. If you walk him, you walk him. Otherwise, why else go out there and have the visit at the mound? But we'll see what happens here. Tough situation for Will Shaw. And a swing and a miss. Big cut by Trace Harrington. And he's got him. Down 0-2, so Shaw with a couple of good pitches to start the at-bat. And the 0-2 pitch is coming up here from Will Shaw. Inside off the plate, great eye by Harrington. That was not easy to lay off of, but he did. And it's one and two. And he hits a little soft grounder to short over to second. And it's in time to get Lester just barely. Lester got a great jump. And he almost beat the throw to second base. But Shaw works out of trouble. He gets Harrington with the bases loaded. And the Tigers failed to score despite loading the bases. They had two hits. There was a hit batter. They left three on base. And we go to the bottom of the second. Tied at one from Park Hill South. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Recently, Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing, an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. Brock Harmon, the leadoff hitter here for Park Hill South in the bottom of the second inning. It's Brock Harmon, Jackson McDonald, T.J. Parker 
facing Miles Lozano in the bottom of the second, all tied up at one apiece. Harmon, a right-handed hitter. And they say he went around. He offered at it. And the umpire says that's a strike, so that's strike two on Harmon. And a big sweeping curveball. Harmon laid off. Good idea by Lozano. Didn't get him to chase it. Another big sweeping curveball, and he couldn't lay off that one. So he did it once, but not a second time. That's two straight strikeouts for Lozano. His second of the game. And Jackson McDonald will bat. First pitch is a strike to McDonald. Hits it past the second baseman nation into right field, and that's a single for Jackson McDonald with one out. He's at first base for T.J. Parker. That's the second hit of the game for Park Hill South. And Parker, the catcher, will bat now for Park Hill South. First pitch is a strike. Good one from Lozano to start the at-bat. With one out, Parker looks down at the third base coach to make sure there's nothing percolating like a sacrifice. He does not show bunt, and he hits it into shallow left center field. Diving attempt, and Lester can't come up with it. Throws it over the head of second baseman Nation, but Harrington backs it up at first, and that's two straight singles. One by McDonald, one by T.J. Parker. number eight, Aiden Bowie. And Aiden Bowie will bat now with two on and one out. Base hit could give Park Hill South the lead. Aiden Bowie, B-U-I, Bowie. Number 28 is Jackson McDonald getting his lead on second. And the first pitch is outside, ball one. Woods tried to help the umpire a little by pulling it back in, but nothing doing. It's 1-0 to Aiden Bowie. And ball two. Three base hits for Park Hill South already off of Miles Lozano. He avoided a lot of damage. In the first inning, gave up the one run, and that tied the score at one. That is a curveball that stayed high. And it's 3-0 and now. Lozano typically works ahead in the count, so 3-0 and is not something that you see a lot with him on the mound. That one is a strike on the inside corner with a fastball, 3-1. and one. Swing and a grounder foul outside the third baseline. Three balls, two strikes. Full count, one out. And another chopper toward the dugout at third. Josh Newfeld almost took it. Uh, off the fence and made the catch, but couldn't quite hang on. Good effort by Josh Newfeld, pitching coach over there. Nobody, nobody, nobody. And that one's low. So he hung around, and Lozano finally lost him 
And that loads the bases. Bases loaded for the Panthers. Aiden Bowie draws the walk. First walk of the game issued by Miles Lozano. And Drew Grabner will bat. Grabner, number 18. First pitch to him is low and away. Ball one. Tigers loaded the bases in the top half of the inning. Failed to score. Park Hill South trying to avoid the same situation. Curve ball is low and in, and that's ball two. Woods kept it in front of him. So the runners weren't able to move up. Two balls, no strikes, and here's a dangerous pitch to Drew Grabner. He fouled it back to the screen. Good cut by Grabner. McDonald at third, Parker at second, Bowie at first. And a pop-up foul out of play. So it's two balls, two strikes now, and now Lozano is a strike away from getting a big strikeout that he needs to keep the runners right where they are. Off speed, bounced it up there. Good job by Woods to know what was coming and slide over and keep it in front. Three and two. And that's a big calling car to Lozano. If he can get you to chase that off-speed pitch out of the zone, that's where he has a lot of success. Grabner laid off that one. And then he threw a fastball by him, a snap throw down to first, gets away. It bounced down there, and that's going to allow one run to score. They're going to hold everybody else. And that is a costly error by Woods. McDonald's. McDonald scores, McDonald scores for the on the error. Number 11, Michael Good. Come on, Mike. That makes it 2-1 Park Hill South. Everybody else moves up. Parker now at third. And there's a chopper to Lozano, and he has to go back to get it. He'll toss it to first. Easy play. And that ends the inning, but the error leads to an unearned run. One run. Two hits. An error. And two runners left on base. And at the end of two, Park Hill South has a 2-1 lead. We'll take a break and be back with the third after this timeout. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. Vision Health Eye Center, outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealtheyecenter.com. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. Jackson Overstreet leads things off for Republic now. They trail 2-1. to one. And the first pitch is a ball just missed with a fastball off the inside corner. 1-0. and oh. Overstreet single, drove in a run his first time up. And he hits it hard to short. Big hop. Good throw. One out. Backhand play over there by the shortstop, Kaysen Lett. One out for the 
Tigers now batting number 26, Wyatt Woods. Wyatt Woods bats. He walked his first time. And he hits a soft grounder to short. Let throws it wide of the bag, and Woods is down there safely. That was not an easy play for Led. He had to come in. It was a slow roller. And we'll see what they score that. Now batting number six, Brett Hendrickson. Well, the game changer app that Republic runs has given him a single. So an infield single for Woods. Puts him on, and Brett Hendrickson bats now. Runner Woods is going, and he's down there safely. Woods got a big jump, steals a base, and he's at second base with one out now for Hendrickson. One missed outside. That's a hard hit ball into the gap in left center. And it's going to be caught, kind of hung up there with the wind. And the, the left fielder, Drew Grabner, went over and made the catch. So Hendrickson retired, two away now, and Cooper Pilkington comes to the plate. Woods still there at second base. Represents the tying run, Republic trailing by one, two to one against Park Hill South. And that one catches the outside corner. One ball, one strike. Woods is going again, and he is going to be in there safely with another stolen base. Not really paying much attention to Wyatt Woods, and so he took off. I don't know if the, they just... Thought they look at the fact that he's the catcher and think he probably can't run. And, of course, Republic fans know he can run. There's a fly ball into shallow center field. Well, not so shallow. He hit that pretty well, but right at the center fielder. Pilkington's retired by the center fielder for the second time in the game. He's 0 for 2, and the inning is over. They strand Woods after he hit the infield single. And fail to score, we go to the bottom of the third. It's 2-1, Park Hill South, back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Elliot Robinson & Company, LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliot Robinson & Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza, across from Pinnegar Chevrolet. Or find them online at ERCPA.com. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com.
66, Hayden Vizcarra. Hayden Vizcarra leads off. The number two hitter in the order against Miles Lozano, and he hits it right back to Lozano. Little comebacker, another little underhand toss over to Harrington, and that's twice in a row that Park Hill South hitters have grounded right back to Lozano. That's the first out of the third inning. And Christian Denig, the center fielder and number three hitter in the order, will stand in. Big right-hander against another big right-hander on the mound, Lozano. And that one just missed outside. One ball to Christian Denig. Denig grounded out, scored a run on the ground out, got the RBI. Back in the first inning. And that's ball two. Woods and Lozano want to have a little conversation. And the wind has returned. Nothing like Joplin. I mean, that was pretty brutal. This is not quite gale force. It's just uh, very windy. Next one's a ball, and so now Lozano has to work all the way back. And he missed off the inside corner, ball four. So four straight uh, balls to Christian Denig. Leads to a walk. That is the second walk issued by Lozano. And Kaysen Lett will bat. First pitch outside. Let's strike out his first time. He was the first strikeout victim of the game. Lozano has three Ks here in the third inning. Throw over. Plenty of time for Christian Denig to get his way back to the bag. And a big lead. You can see Denig kind of scampering off the bag after Lozano checked him. And he basically had a running start down to second. Watch again. Right there, he starts taking off, and he was going to get there easily if the pitch hadn't been fouled off. Stays put this time, and there's a hard hit ball. One hop to Hughes, steps on the bag, throws over to first, and that was an easy made-to-order 6-3 double play. Hughes to Harrington, and Harmon, or uh, Lett, is retired. The score at the end of three is 2-1 to one Panthers. So the double play gets Lozano out of trouble and ends the third inning. We go to the fourth. Park Hill South on top 2-1, back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's, pizza, pasta, perfection, and tiger spirit. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit laurieandelizabeth.reesnichols.com, your seasoned real estate teammates. 
Carter Nation, Cannon Kroll, Garrett Lester do up. And the first pitch is fouled back to the screen by Carter Nation. Nation was hit by a pitch his first time up. That was in the second inning. Batting now, leading off the fourth. Park Hill South on top, 2-1. And he hit that one hard. Down the line, into the corner, and that's going to be extra bases for Carter Nation. Kind of hesitated, though, going around first base, and he ends up sliding in safely at second anyway. That's about as hard as Carter Nation's hit the ball all year. He roped it into the left field corner, and it's a leadoff double for Carter Nation. Now batting number 33, Cannon Kroll. And Cannon Kroll will bat. Chops it foul. 0-1. So Nation's been on base twice. First hit by a pitch, and then the leadoff double here in the fourth. Catches the corner. Hits it into center field, and that almost went over the head of the center fielder. He had to reach up at the last minute. Kroll hit the ball hard, but he's retired. One out now in the fourth inning. And Garrett Lester bats next. Lester popped out to second and then grounded out, or a single rather, and was forced out at second. So he's one for two. First pitch is low to Lester. One out. Fourth inning, top of the fourth. And a little bit low, Lester laid off. Lester is cooled off from where he was early in the season when his on-base percentage was over 600. Still in the 500 zone, that's not a bad season. And there is a swing and a grounder. And the first baseman backhands, but he throws it over the first baseman's head, and that's going to score the runner. Lester would have beaten it out anyway. Probably shouldn't have made the throw. So that's at least a single. And not sure if I would say that's an RBI. Probably would not have scored the run if the throw hadn't been off the mark. The error allows Lester... To, well, no, he stayed at first. I was watching Nation. Lester never did make it to second. So there's no error there, but the error allows the runner to score. There goes Lester, and he's in there easily. Stolen base for Lester. Puts him at second base. That was nice of Garrett. I had already made a line from first to second earlier when I thought he went down there, so now I don't have to erase anything. Hughes batting. Now has a runner in scoring position and put the Tigers on top. And he pops it up into shallow center, and that's going to be a long run, and it's going to be caught. It took a long time for the center fielder to realize, Denig, realize it was hit so shallow, and he had to close a lot of ground in a hurry. 
two away now, and it's up to Trace Harrington, batting with the runner at first, or a runner at second, and first base open with two outs. Pitch to Harrington, bounces up there. And with a base open, they can be a little more careful. Will Shaw handled it nicely the last time with the bases loaded and nowhere to put Harrington. This time he can be a little finer if he wants to be. Harrington wants to get a pitch to drive and put the Tigers on top. That one's outside. And a conversation at the mound. Two and one. Two outs here in the top of the fourth inning. Tigers have tied it up to a piece. And there's a line drive into left, and it is snared out of the air by the left fielder. Harrington could hardly have hit that any harder, but the left fielder reached up. Drew Grabner made the play, and that ends the inning. Tough luck for Harrington, tough luck for the Tigers, but they tie the game. A double by Carter Nation, and he came in to score on the error, on the throwing error by the first baseman on the infield single by Garrett Lester. So the Tigers score run. They had two base hits. There was one error, and they left a runner on base. We go to the bottom of the fourth, all tied up at two. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. Your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Brock Harmon leads off the bottom of the fourth inning for the Park Hill South Panthers. Harmon, McDonald, and Parker do up against Miles Lozano, and the first pitch is lined into right field. It's going to get down, and Overstreet will pick it up near the line over there, and he will hold Harmon to a single. First hit of the day for Brock Harmon. He's one for two, and he's on to lead off the fourth inning as Jackson McDonald comes to the plate. McDonald singled and scored in the second. First pitch low. And a bunt up the third baseline. That's going to go foul. Picked up by Pilkington over there. Lozano's thrown 44 pitches, 27 of them strikes. Sun has gone behind some clouds and 
that makes a huge difference in the temperature. It has cooled off a lot just with that brief shade in the clouds. The sun was doing all the work on the air temperature. Another bunt shown. This one up the first baseline. It's going to spin and be picked up outside the first baseline by Wyatt Woods. Great hustle by Woods to get out there and grab it when it was still foul. Got to just spin, and it's a long way for Woods to go to get out there and pick that one up. Lozano checks the runner. He's not going anywhere, and that pitch is high. McDonald ducked under it. That one's popped up. Left side, Pilkington is over, and he makes the catch. So McDonald, McDonald fouls out to Pilkington, and it brings in TJ Parker, the catcher. Harmon at first base, he singled the lead off the inning. Lozano took, takes a look over his shoulder, and now he pitches, and the first pitch is a strike to T.J. Parker. Parker singled and was stranded in the second. Got all the way to third base and no further before Lozano worked out of trouble. There's a swing and a fly ball to Lester in center. Drifts over to his right, makes the catch. Runner stays put. Two away as Parker flies out to Lester. And it brings in Aiden now Bowie eight, Aiden with Bowie. two away and a runner on first base. Lozano looks a little more comfortable. Gave up the leadoff hit, but he's generally been a lot more around the strike zone. As he's gone on here, little grounder to Pilkington. Double clutches, plenty of time, though. Throws across and gets Bowie. And after the leadoff single, Lozano sets down the side in order. No runs, one hit, no errors, one runner left on base. We go to the fifth, all tied at two. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Harris Pizza brings a slice of history to your table. Since 1961, their blend of handcrafted dough, rich sauces, and a variety of fresh toppings cooked in an authentic brick oven offers a unique dining experience. Explore their menu at arispizzapalace.com or drop into the Wildwood Plaza on Highway 60. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnegar Advantage. Top customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnegar Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnegar family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnegarChevrolet.com. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. Jackson Overstreet leads it off, promptly grounds it hard to short. 
But a good throw across. And a good play by the shortstop, Kaysen Lett. Retires Jackson Overstreet on the first pitch of the inning, 6-3. That's the second time he's grounded out to short. He's one for three now. And Wyatt Woods will bat. Woods walked in the first. He singled, stole a couple of bases, but was stranded at third back in the third inning. And he lays down a bunt. Good idea. Good play by Shaw, and he makes the throw in time. Boy, he had to play that perfectly. And I like the idea from Woods, but Shaw did it a little bit better. He did exactly what he needed to do. Two outs for the Tigers, now batting number six, Brett Hendrickson. Boy, that had to be perfect, and Shaw was perfect. Two away. So Brett Hendrickson bats. First pitch to him is a ball. Hendrickson singled and flew out, lined out to left field. So he's one for two, and he swings and misses. One ball, one strike to Hendrickson. That one low and in. Ball two. Will Shaw trying to have his first one, two, three inning. And that would be the first three up, three down inning of the game. Tigers did have only three batters one time, or uh, rather Park Hill South, but it was a double play. And a bobble, but a recovery in time. Will Shaw got over there to cover first base. He had a good inning in the field, in addition to on the mound, and it pays off in a one, two, three inning for Shaw, and the Tigers go down in order here in the top of the fifth inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth, that was quick. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Hind Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Hind Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Recently, Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing, an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing. Drew Grabner leads it off. And he pops it into center field. Nope, it's going to drift over to right. Overstreet is there. And he makes the catch. So Grabner is retired. One out for the Panthers. Flies out to right. 11, Michael Good. And Michael Good, the leadoff hitter, stands in now for Park Hill South. Chopper foul. Oh. 
One ball, one strike to Michael Good. Singled, stole a base, scored in the first, grounded back to Lozano in the second. Now batting with one out in the fifth. And he takes the strike. Two balls, two strikes. And a curveball in the dirt. Good laid off, and it's three and two. Swing and a hard hit ball into center. Lester comes in, and he dives, and he made the catch. Oh, they're going to say he didn't make the catch. And Lester was acting like he made the catch. They want to check. And it's going to be a single. I don't know. I looked to me like he caught it, but take a look again. Yeah, too late on the replay, and you can't probably couldn't tell anyway. Lester is still out there. I think what happened is Lester's got a big glove, and the webbing kind of hit the ground as it came up to get it. But he was. He was pretty convincing if he didn't catch it. So Good is on first with one away. And that pitch is a strike. Runner started to go, held up. Pitches a ball, it's two and one. Hayden Viscara, 0 for 2. Grounded out to short, grounded back to Lozano. And he's got a runner at first. That's Michael Good with one out. Good stole a base, and there he goes again, and there's a fly ball into center, and that could be a double play if they get the throw down there in time, and it couldn't be handled by Harrington. They would have had the double play because Good didn't realize the ball was popped out. Overstreet made the catch, but then bounced the throw over there. And Harrington couldn't catch it on the in-between hop. So Good is back safely. Two fly outs to Overstreet in this inning. And Denick, Christian Denick bats next. He walked his last time up. He's 0 for 1. Had an RBI ground out in the first. And he skies it into right field. That's going to be another play for Overstreet, I think. He gets in, makes the catch, and the disputed call in center doesn't matter one way or the other, which is just how you want it to go. Fly out to Overstreet. Three fly outs to Overstreet in the inning, and the single by Good is the only base runner. We go to the sixth inning, all tied at two. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. Vision Health Eye Center. Outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealthicenter.com.
For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. Cooper Pilkington leads it off for Republic in the sixth inning. New pitcher is Christian Denig, who had been in center field, and he delivers the first one low to Cooper Pilkington. Pilkington has flied out to Denig twice, so maybe with Denig being in here on the mound, he'll do something different. That one inside with a fastball. 2-0. and Pilkington, Nation, and Kroll do up. In the top of the sixth, tied up at two. And that one is low, ball three. Denny wanted to get the call, didn't get it. It's 3 0. See if Pilkerton is swinging or taking all the way. He's acting like he's swinging, but didn't matter. Inside ball four. He walks on four pitches. Pilkerton is on base for the first time. Now batting number 12, Carter. New center fielder. For Park Hill South is Gio Vitino. G I O V I T I N O. Gio Vitino. And Carter Nation bats with Pilkington at first. First pitch is a ball. That's five straight balls to start the appearance by Christian Denick, who came in from center field in the place of Will Shaw, who had a great five inning outing for the Panthers. And that one missed. Ball two. That one was a little closer than they have been, but still missed, and it's 2-0. and oh. That one's low and in. Ball three. And I'd be real surprised to see Carter Nation swing here. 3-0. and oh. Can it crawl on deck? Tigers trying to break a 2-2 tie here in the top of the sixth. And that one's a strike. So seven straight balls and then a strike by Christian Denig. And Nation now 3-1 and one with Pilkington over there at first. Next one from Denig. Timeout. Nation got tired of waiting, called timeout, and the umpire granted it to him, so he steps back, and everybody resets here. Ready to go again. And a throw over. Denig just doesn't look especially comfortable out there yet. Walking the first hitter doesn't help, but it's kind of slow delivery and... Looks a little hesitant, but that one is a strike, and it's three and two. Nobody out. Top of the sixth. And that one's inside. Ball four. So it came back to run the count full, but Nation takes ball four. He walks. Now second walk of the three, inning. Three, and there are runners at first and second with nobody out for Cannon Kroll. Kroll one for two. He singled in the second, flied out to center in the fourth. Batting now in the sixth with the game tied, and we're going to get a conversation at the mound between Christian Denig and T.J. Parker. Each team scored a run in the first. Park Hill South took the lead with a single run in the second. It was 2-1 to one until the fourth inning when the Tigers scored a run to tie it up, and we're still tied at two. Kroll waits for the first pitch from Denig, and he takes it low and away, ball one. 
There is activity over there in the Park Hill South bullpen. Can't see who it is. And that one is maybe a little high, outside two, 2-0. Two oh. Kroll can get one to drive here if he wants to turn it loose. Let's see. Fastball is high, ball three, and Denig's control troubles continue. And we'll be back to the top of the order after this. So Kroll can be real picky after he takes this one, I presume. He was taken all the way. That's a strike on the inside corner. That one barely caught the corners, too. Three and one. That one's inside. Ball four. Leaned away from it. Barely missed off the inside corner. And that's three straight walks by Christian Denig to start the inning against the seven, eight, and nine hitters. That's exactly what you don't want to do, especially in a tie game. Late innings. And Garrett Lester bats now with the bases loaded. Nobody out. It's Lester, Hughes, and Harrington due up for the Tigers. They could do a lot of damage here. Let's see what happens. First pitch is high. And Lester has a great batting eye, too, batting in this leadoff spot. And I think we may get a pitching change here before this at bat is over. Conference on the mound, and while they talk things over, I'm going to take a quick break. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Elliot Robinson and Company LLP, certified public accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliot Robinson and Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet, or find them online at ERCPA.com. All right, they did not change pitchers. Just needed to have a word to maybe settle Christian Denig down. There's one ball, no strikes on Lester, and he's batting with the bases loaded and nobody out in the sixth inning of a 2-2 game. And that pitch is a strike, and then the snap throw down to third. Not in time to catch Pilkington napping over there. Counts even one and one to Garrett Lester. There's a swing and a grounder. High hopper to first. The throw home is in time, and they get the force out at the plate. That's a big out. Lester is safe at first on the fielder's choice, and everybody else just moves up a station. Good job by the first baseman. Brock Harmon to jump up there and make the catch. So now Nation is at second. Jackson Taylor is the pinch runner at second base in for Carter Nation, in for uh, Cannon Kroll. And Lester at first. So base is loaded one out now. And Devin Hughes, who is one for three, he singled and scored back in the first inning. And he swings and misses at a fastball, strike one. Pretty much anything but a strikeout or a double play or a pop-up is going to score a run. And if that will score a run, it hit him in the back of the calf, and that's one way to drive a run home. Not the easiest way, but the Tigers will take it. Devin Hughes is not so sure about it, but he's going to trot down first, and he'll be fine with it later. 
So Nation comes in to score. The Tigers take a 3-2 lead. And now the same situation they faced before and got out of it. Trace Harrington up with the bases loaded. And he could really cap what has been a fantastic week. Inside with a fastball. Bases loaded, one out. Harrington has already homered four times this week. And he's already got one grand slam this week. And he takes it inside just off the plate, 2-0. Oh. 